In the following video, I will explain to you what happens during a vasectomy. I won't use any gory details, but I will just give you some technical overview. You won't see any pictures, but you can find plenty of vasectomy videos on the internet. I would also like to reassure you that it's not half as embarrassing as you think it may be and it's quick and straightforward so within minutes you'll be going home again. So if you have postponed your vasectomy for years as many men do, don't postpone it any longer. It doesn't make sense. All these lost years of safe fun. But now to the technical side. Initially I'll have to examine you and use an antiseptic. Then I will use some local anesthetic to numb the skin of the scrotum. This is in front, in the middle of the scrotum, within the so-called roughest scrotum. I read once in a book, this is the line where God has sewn you together. The needle is so small, it's more like a pin and used for Botox. The needle will stay far away from your ground jewels. When the skin is numb, I will simply ease some local anesthetic along each vas deferens. This happens through the numb skin itself, so you won't feel the scratch of the needle again. The vas deferens is the tube that transports the sperm, and I now, from now on, call it the vas. So the local anesthetic will work within a few seconds. We will then secure the vas in a little ring forceps through the numb skin. You'll feel me touching you, but absolutely no pain. I then create a really small little 5 mm opening using a laser-like instrument called a hyphracator. Both sides will be treated through the one opening. The opening of the skin is exactly in the location where the local anesthetic was applied earlier, in the middle of the line of the scrotum. Through this very little opening, I will secure the bus and bring it to the surface. There are three steps for safety I use. Firstly, I use cautery alongside the bus. Secondly, I will interrupt the bus. And thirdly, I will remove a piece of the bus. Finally, I will also preventatively cauterize vessels along the bus, blood vessels, to ensure the chance of bleeding is minimized. The vas will then be put back into the scrotum and the lower end of the vas is likely to be pulled down a little by gravity, creating an even bigger interruption. I'll repeat the same process on the other side, through the same opening. I'll generally not use any sutures, clips or other foreign bodies in your scrotum, so no stitches, no sutures, no clips. Everything is done keeping things as natural as possible with the least intervention as possible to minimize trauma and therefore minimize side effects. The resulting very small wound is held together by a silicon plaster and pressure. Again, I will not stitch it. You'll recover keeping plaster in place for a week and the antiseptic under the plaster will prevent infection. There are as many vasectomy methods as there are vasectomy surgeons. Everyone has their own method. Surgeons are using clips, ties, sutures and many other ways of doing a vasectomy. Close-ended vasectomies have a tie around each end of each vas, so four ties. Some people don't interrupt the vas at all, just cauterize it internally with a needle forceps. So here is my logical explanation why I do what I do. What's different about my vasectomy compared with others? And why have I developed and refined exactly this method over 20 years? On top of the usual vasectomy instruments, I use some additional kit to aid the process of a quick vasectomy with minimal trauma. I minimize tissue necrosis by externally rather than internally cauterizing the vas. Furthermore, I do not use any stitches. Many surgeons, particularly in the US, but also about 12% of independent surgeons in the UK, using a process called facial interposition and using stitches or clips, 
which are absorbable or in some cases non-absorbable stitches. They use that to create a barrier between both ends of the vase. I don't do this because I believe it's unnecessary and makes the procedure more complicated and creates more potential side effects, for example, infection, inflammation, foreign body granulomas and postoperative uh, complications. Instead, I ensure a proper interruption distance of both ends of the bus and proper opening of the lumen so it's unable to transport sperm. I leave both ends open-ended to reduce pain. For a sperm to jump from one end to the other of my interruption, it would have to jump the distance of the width of the Grand Canyon for a human. I only use stitches if this is medically needed as part of the surgery, not routinely. So here's the summary. 1. The local anesthetic will only go in front of the scrotal skin and along the vas after the skin is numb, not into your ground jewels. 2. Through the same single keyhole of 5 mm or less, I will interrupt both sides. 3. I will use three different methods for additional safety. The interruption is long enough for your safety. 4. My method is quick, easy and natural. It's open-ended to avoid pressure into the testicles. And 5. I don't use any stitches, clips or foreign bodies. Thank you for listening to this video. For more information, just look at www.vasectomy.co.uk, which will forward you to my website. Thank you.